In this lesson, we're going to learn some basic editing techniques using Filmora. Now that we have imported and organized our files in our project media, it's now time to put them together and make something with them. So I'm going to access one of my folders and just add a clip to my timeline. You can also do that by uh, clicking this plus button, click it once and it just shows up here. All right, so I have this long clip of cars in the background and we're first going to learn about our first keyword which is trimming so trimming is basically when you uh, shorten the video and get rid of the rest so what that means is that i can just click the end here you can see my cursor is changing click the end and maybe keep about this much of my clip i no longer have access to the rest of my clip because i have trimmed my video so that is trimming. You can do that and you can also bring it back if you change your mind. Just uh, bring back as much as you need. You can also see the um, duration and the end time showing up above. And the end time is basically showing um, how long this whole project will be as you increase. The duration is only talking about the duration of the video. So there's a difference. So end time right now is 36. And if I bring my cursor, uh, my time indicator here, we can see we got 36. But the video itself is only 11, or actually 16 seconds. So that was how you can trim your video. Now let's learn how we can split your video. Splitting is when you can divide your video into one or more pieces. Right now we have one block for our video. But if I go ahead and get my this uh, scissor thing, I can click it once and now I have divided my video into two separate parts. Just like that. Another way that you can split your clip is by selecting that part and getting the scissor up here. It's the same thing as the one down here, but you can just use that as well. And you can do this as many times as you want for your clip, like that. Another way to split your clip is by going on that uh, clip and then we're going to right click Go right over to split. There we go. Now this one is in two parts as well. So why would you need to split or trim your video? A lot of times we have long footage and we just want a certain part of that video. If you have a video of fireworks, you only want the part where the fireworks are out and all the colors are visible. You don't want the parts before it when the sky is just black. So trimming and splitting your videos is one of the most basic techniques that you will use when you're editing your video. Now let's say I, I just deleted all of the little parts that we made. I can bring them back by just getting one of the ends here and stretching this video. You can see that the uh, slider is green here, but at some point it turns red because we've reached the end of the duration. So I cannot expand it uh, even more, but I can make it less than 16 seconds. All right, now let's learn about cutting your videos. I'm first going to just uh, split my clip again. I'm going to go on this guy, this part, and I'm just going to hit cut. So it disappears, but it's not gone yet. It's in my uh, clipboard. I'm going to get another video, just place it right here, and I'm going to trim this as well, hit the scissor, and delete it. Now I want that part that we cut, I want to bring it back and place it next to this video. To bring the video back, all you have to do is to hold down Command and press V, or Control V if you're on Windows. And now I have this uh, video right here, the first half is now over here. You can do this multiple times as well if you need copies of that same part. Let's go ahead and right click and hit delete. So that was cutting your videos. Uh, as you saw, they disappeared for a while and they came back once we uh, pasted that clip. Now you can also copy your clips. So let's just go on this one, right click, hit copy. Now with copy, it doesn't disappear. It's right there. And I can just come somewhere else and hit Command V. And now I have that copy uh, exactly where I kept my time indicator. Now you can also do this on a video. So let's go on this one. You can see I'm in the middle. Hit Control V and, and it goes in between that video. So now we have this cut into two pieces. I'm going to select all of these and we're going to delete them so that we can make something with uh, four videos using what we've learned so far. I will go to my Sprout folder, click and drag my first clip. I'm gonna keep the project settings. My first clip and I'm just gonna move my time indicator. Second clip. Let's go back to shopping. Let's get some images in here. 
and we're just going to put these right next to each other. There we go. So I have four footage like this, but they're all very long and I just don't want everything to be in my video. So I can go ahead and hit play, pause it, and then hit Command B or Control B on your uh, keyboard to split this clip. Remember that splitting keeps the other half that you cut, but if you were to trim it, you will get rid of the ends and the uh, second parts. So I want this second half, but I want it to stop here. Instead of splitting it again and hitting Command B, I can actually go ahead and trim the rest because I do not want this bit. So I'm going to click this and get the edge right here, click and drag to where I want it to stop, which would be right here. There we go. I will also click and delete the first half. So I just have a little bit of each video. So like that, and you can either hit this trash icon up here or hit backspace on your keyboard and it just goes back to the start. So that's my first video ready for my project. For my second video, I'm also going to get my time indicator and comb through to find the part where I want to split my clip, which would be somewhere around here. Again, I can either split it if I want to keep the first half, or I can trim it if I don't want to keep the first half. I don't want the first half, so I'm going to click the edge right here and drag it to the uh, right. And it's going to jump back to the point where we uh, trimmed. So now I just have this guy, and I can also trim the end, so I just have a little bit of this. Great. I have two videos placed next to each other, and it's looking really nice. But now I got two images that are just there for a really long time. I don't want everyone to stare at these pictures for that long. So what I can do is to change the duration of these images. I'm just going to put my time indicator here. And let's zoom into our timeline a bit because we do have some gaps here. Click the area right there and hit backspace to get rid of those pauses. And if I play it back, we're not getting any black screens. Okay, so let's go ahead and learn about changing the duration of your footage. So duration is how long that media is going to be seen in your project. And if you remembered when we were trimming something, like right now, you can see there's a duration and it's changing as I'm dragging this left and right. So if I bring it to the left, I'm reducing the amount of time that this image will be on screen. But if I go to the right, I am increasing the duration. Now, because images are still, you can actually increase the duration for however long you want. But that is not the case with videos because they have a set duration. The camera only caught, let's say, five minutes of this. And I cannot create more minutes by increasing the duration unless I slow down those frames. And uh, that's the only way that I can increase the duration. So if I were to just, let's copy this clip right here, Control C or Command C, Control V right here. I can click and drag this, but at some point, just move to the side here. At some point, it's going to turn red. It's not letting me move because we've reached the end of the uh, video's duration. So for videos, if you want it to be longer, you would either have to get more footage or slow it down to get uh, more duration. All right, now we have these two videos and like we said, they're just on the screen for way too long and no one wants to just stare at an image forever. So I'm going to click this image or maybe both. And uh, one option that you have is to either get the edge like we did for the videos and just change the duration yourself. You can see the number for duration. But another way to change duration is by clicking that uh, media and then going up to this guy. It's like a stopwatch. It's labeled duration. Click it once. And you can see right now, this image is on screen for five seconds. I can go ahead and maybe add or remove time from this. Let's set this to two seconds. Hit OK, and it's down to two seconds. Now, if I have multiple images, I can click and drag them all and then change their duration together. So I'm just going to set this to set this to two seconds. Hit OK. They have both been trimmed down to two seconds. But this does not apply to videos because like we said, they have a set duration and you can't really uh, mess around with it that much as you can with images because images have one single frame, but videos consist of much more frames than images. 
The only way to change the duration is by either trimming your videos or like we said, changing the speed of your video, which we're going to learn in further lessons. Changing the duration and trimming also applies to other types of files. Right now we dealt with videos and images, but let's try this with a GIF file, the one that we kept in our folder. I'm gonna click and drag it over here and play this back. It's just a GIF of Snoopy. And I can, like all the other uh, files, click the end and maybe trim the thing, trim the video. There we go. So it stops right at where I trimmed it, but we do not have the uh, change duration option because like we said, things that have motion already have a set duration. So you cannot manipulate it that much as you can with images. So I cannot, uh, like the video, I cannot extend this GIF, but I can uh, reduce the amount like so. So now we have some videos, images, and a GIF placed next to each other, forming a sequence. But what if I wanted to add things on top of this sequence to make my video more interesting? So right now you can see we have a video track and then we have another one on top, which if you're not seeing this, you only have one of these, you can simply go up in this plus button to add a video track. Now I have three and you can also make as much as you want for these. You need additional video tracks in order to stack things on top of each other. So I'm going to go to this video of the Sprouts, go to my stock media to Giphy where I can get a sticker. Here, let me look for something that uh, matches. We have Sprout. We have this nice uh, plant that I'm going to click and drag on top of my video. So I'm going to double click on this guy to just uh, change the size put it in the corner. There we go. Hit OK. So now I have two things playing at the same time on top of each other. And as you saw, it ends as it reaches the part here. I cannot extend this because it has a predetermined duration. What I can do is to get a bunch of other stickers and put them next to each other. You can see how this guy is shorter compared to this guy. Let's get a bunch of other things. Put this one. There we go. So each of these, each of the GIF files and videos have their own set uh, duration. And we just got to work with what we have. There we go. And that's how I can stack things on top of each other. Again, you can double click on any of these and just change them, move them around and just make something cool with your clips. The same thing applies for videos. You don't have to always use stickers. So I'm just going to drag this second video and place it on top but I would have to change the size so we can see the video underneath. There we go. And now I have two videos playing at the same time on top of each other. Maybe I can add a image as well. Just grab one of the corners so I can keep the size, uh, keep the width and height, and then just move it somewhere else. And now I have three things playing on top of each other nicely trimmed for my uh, project. Let's go ahead and delete the space in between. And now I have a very random project consisting of photos, GIFs, and videos. So that was how you can use basic editing techniques to connect videos together. We learned how to trim, how to split, cut, and change the duration. In the further lessons, we're going to learn more about editing and uh, we're going to use different tools and that way, when put all together, you can make a really awesome video. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Let's look at three new features in Filmora 11, one of which allows us to turn speech to text, text to speech, and another one allows us to bring in uh, external subtitles into our project. Let's start with the speech to text tool. I'm going to record my audio with the voiceover tool right here. Select your microphone and start recording. Hello, my name is Sherry. Stop recording. Let's give it a listen. Hello, my name is Sherry. Now I want to transcribe this audio file. Select the file right here. Head over to Tools, Speech to Text. This is the window that you're going to get. First of all, you need to choose the language of the speech. Ours is English. But you have other options right here. 
and you can choose the file that needs to be converted. We have one clip, but if you want your entire sequence to be transcribed, then you would want to select this one. Then we have this option that will automatically match the new file to the audio file, which I recommend turning on so that the new file will be matched uh, with the audio file and it won't be somewhere random. Hit OK. And now it's going to scan and transcribe the audio file. There we go. So I have this text uh, layer on top of my audio file. If I go back, you can see, hello, my name is Sherry. Hello, my name is Sherry. You can see that the text is matched to the audio file. You can double click on the text and just change up a few things. Maybe you want to change the font, the size, make it bold, italic and all that. You can add more uh, subtitles over here, but we don't have any audio, so there won't be a need for that. But you can simply type in something and you will have this text playing. Let's play it back. Hello, my name is Sherry. It's going to play here and then this is the main text. You can put something else here if you'd want. If you don't want anything else, then you can just leave it be uh, as it was, leave it empty. We have some presets over here. You can style your text by going on any of these and adjust the text to your liking. These are the same options that we had for a regular text. Hit OK once you're finished. And now I have this subtitle for my audio file. Now let's say you want to do the exact opposite. You want the text to turn into an audio. You can also do that by using Filmora's new features. Let's go ahead and delete these two. Go to the titles menu and grab any text that you want. I will get something from the plain text, drag it onto your timeline, and then just type in something. Type in something random, hit OK. Select the text on the timeline, and you can also access the tools over here. So this one is text to speech, this one is speech to text. We need text to speech. And this is the other window that we're going to get. Again, it's asking us about the language. And then we have some voice options. Double click on them to hear a preview. Wondershare, creativity simplified. Wondershare, creativity simplified. Wondershare, creativity simplified. So you can choose your artist right here. I will go with Lily. Then you can adjust the speed and the pitch of the audio. And again, we have this that we should just leave on. Hit OK once you're finished, and it's going to scan your uh, text. And there we go. This is my new audio file. Let's play it. I like ice cream. And now I have a new audio file that says exactly what I typed out. Let's delete those, and I will just bring in a sample video. So these are my videos. You don't need to bring in a video file, but you could if you'd like. Let's bring in our .srt file, which uh, is the extension for subtitles. You can either create it yourself, put in the timestamps, or you could download from the internet. Drag this directly onto your project media. And you would be putting these onto a video track. So let's make a new one. And now I have subtitles for my video. It's pretty easy to use. You can also double click on this text layer, maybe change the text and also the timestamps, change how the text looks and just play around with how long they are on screen. Let's hit OK. And that's how you can use the three new features of Filmora 11 that allow you to either turn text to speech, speech to text, or bring in external subtitles.